in this video I'm going to tell you how to get the only warrior's bow of a legendary status in Horizon Forbidden West. That is the highest level warrior's bow in the game. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Horizon Forbidden West. We're also going to give you the tips so that you can crush the gauntlet run in Still Sands because that's the hardest one because it includes Red Maw in the race. There are only four gauntlet runs. These are races on the back of chargers in Horizon Forbidden West. But there's a there's a bunch of story gating within this that is not spelled out in the game. So number one, to do the first gauntlet run, you have had to set up the base. That means that you have to have totally completed the Dying Lands quest and Alloy has the base and she has full access to the true Forbidden West, not just the the, the partial Forbidden West that you get after the embassy. The other thing is that before you do the third gauntlet run, it's probably a good idea to do the Poseidon quest, right? Because the fourth gauntlet run, the Still Sands, you cannot do that unless you've completed the Poseidon quest. So the, the four gauntlet runs in their order are Dry Yearn, then Cliffs of the Christ. So Dry Yearn is very close to the base. Uh, Dry Yearn is on the southwest coast by the beach. Uh, Cliffs of the I'm sorry, Dry Yearn's close to the base. Cliffs of the Cry is southwest side near the beach. The Bone White Terror is up north and uh, the northwest. And then down in the south, in the middle, where the former Las Vegas is, is the Still Sands. But you have to do the Poseidon quest where Las Vegas is before you can do Still Sands. So this is the, like, the just doing two of the gauntlet runs not all four but two is the fourth hardest trophy to get on the playstation at this time but i think this is actually one of the easier legendary weapons to get Karja's bane which involves doing all four gauntlet runs we're going to go through the fourth gauntlet run and just go through the the tips that help improve your chances of winning it okay we're telling red Maw we want to do another race you're going to start out in last place out of seven, and you want to be holding down the X button. You can pump it even too, but once you get to max speed, you don't really need to, to hold on to the X button. And so with the gauntlet runs, you can hit people. See, right now, when it goes blue, we have a boost. So we started out with a boost, but the boost gets knocked out if you get knocked, and we, that boost didn't go very long. And you can see that red thing in the back, that means I should dodge. So I hit, should hit the square key to dodge that. And if I get hit, I need to hit R2 to recover, otherwise I'm gonna be slow. As we go through these gates, there's gonna be uh, different things. The most important things are the sacks that contain uh, the uh, the boost, right? The, the blaze boost, which will allow you to really speed up and pass a lot of people. Uh, now, you hit the R2 uh, to throw things behind you. So that happened to be a blaze boost that I got. So I got a blaze boost there. Uh, and then if they get close to you, you just whack them with R1. And then you can... See, I got hit there, but I hit R2 quickly. So that was pretty good. Uh, and I got another blaze boost, which I sent out. But that got slow because somebody hit me. Uh, but at least I got two blaze boosts uh, there, in, and I'm in a pretty good position here. And so you want to go through those gates, make sure you get all the bags. And some of those are are uh, the electrical shocks, which he just threw at me, and some are the blaze boosts. And the blaze boosts are the most important. And then you want to... occasionally use your bow. I wouldn't use your bow too much. The, so we we hit R2 to get a blaze boost, but we we're slowed down by this other guy. But at least we got to use it a little bit. But we want to be sparing with our arrows, and we want to make sure that when we use the arrows, we don't have L2 depressed. So we got another blaze boost that got us through the, the ending. All right, so you see on that run, I almost used no arrows on that run. I almost always just hit R2, but I did not hit L2 to aim with my arrows. The real problem with the arrows is that if you have 
L3 depressed, right, the, the left joystick, then you're going to spin around, and that is really hard to recover from. It's a really stupid mechanic, and I don't know a way to get that out of uh, the, the controller bindings, but you want to avoid that like the plague, and you want to be really sparing with the, the aiming the arrow because that'll just inevitably be inevitably slow you down and only use it for cases where you definitely are going to lose to that person but probably better is to see if he can hit r2 and dump as many blaze boosts and so in that run i had probably like six blaze boosts and that was what got me to the finish line subscribe to linus wilson channel we give you the secrets to Crush Horizon Forbidden West. I want to thank uh, the commenter on my chat, Enter Sweet Rest, for his tips on how to win the gauntlet runs.